Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby with another powerful point to ponder. Uh, why? Because we believe in spending meaningful moments with the master. Happy 4th of July. How can African Americans, black Americans, celebrate the 4th of July? After all, uh, in 1790, when America decided who would become citizens, they had a 1790 um, Naturalization Act, which said that only whites could become citizens of the United States. And that was reaffirmed by the Supreme Court in 1857 with the Dred Scott decision in which the Supreme Court under Chief Justice Taney decided that blacks had no rights that whites were bound to respect. And even the 13th Amendment that ended slavery and the 14th Amendment that gave us, uh, that, that uh, gave us citizenship and the 15th Amendment which gave us the right to vote, in a real sense, black people function even today as second class citizens. How can we possibly celebrate the 4th of July? We can celebrate the 4th of July because while America is not perfect and falls short of perfection, America would not be America if it were not for us. In fact, before most immigrants came to this country in the 19th century, blacks came in 1619. In fact, we came here before the Mayflower came. The Mayflower came in 1620. This year is the 400th anniversary of the landing on the Mayflower on Plymouth Rock. But last year, remember, 1619 was the year that the first slaves came, the first enslaved 19 with a woman stepping off that boat called Angela. And we made America what America is. After the Revolutionary War in 1790, America economically was at the bottom of all of the Western nations. But by 1860, 70 years later, America was second economically only to one nation, and that one nation was Great Britain. Why? How did America jump from the bottom to the top in 70 years? And that's because black people, we picked the cotton, we labored, we built America, free labor. Someone said that if you have one slave, you'll be rich. If you have 10 slaves, you'll be wealthy. But if you have 4 million slaves as they had in 1860, then you will be the United States of America because it was slavery and our exploitation that made America what America is today. And not only did we, did we build the, the country up economically, but we're the ones that fought in every war, every war we fought in, in order that America might be free. We never fought against America. We didn't fight against American Native Americans, fought against Americans, Germans fought against America, British fought against America, uh, Japanese fought against Americas, but there's never been a war in which black people fought against America. We always fought for America, and we made the difference during the Civil War when America could have become two nations, the, the Union and the Confederate States of the United States, but the black soldiers came in and fought and saved America. Even when Abraham Lincoln was vacillating and did not want to free the enslaved so that they could fight for the Union. Remember the song about General Friedmont who, who set the slaves free in Missouri and a vacillating Abraham Lincoln rescinded the order, and they had a little jingle about him. They said, Friedmont, uh, when the war begun, uh, told us how to save the Union and how the war was to be won. But Kentucky had its way, and Lincoln had his fears, but the Union was saved by the colored volunteers. So let us rally, boys, let us rally. Never let us mind the past. We have a hard road to travel, but our day is coming fast. For God is for the right, and we have no need to fear. The union will be saved by the colored volunteers. And the colored volunteers saved America, made America great in every war, from the Spanish-American War to the time when Teddy Roosevelt made his run up San Juan Hill to World War I, to World War II, to Korea, to Vietnam.
we made America great. The problem is not that we have not loved America. Black people have loved America. The problem is America has never loved us. So on this 4th of July, let us celebrate all of the revolt that is taking place in the streets so that finally, after 400 years, America can be America for the group that made America, America, the American descendants of slavery. I close with our scripture for today. Proverbs 14, 34 says godliness. The original word godliness here is justice. Justice makes a nation great. If a, he, there's a president who loves to say, make America great again. But America really never has been great. But America has the potential to be great if America will. Godliness makes a nation great. And the word godliness is literally justice. Justice makes a nation great. Giving blacks justice, economic justice, or reparations is the only thing that's going to make America great. And on this 4th of July, let's celebrate how black people made America great. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for our country that was built with free labor, exploited labor. Help us to learn the truth of our history and help us to push for justice because your word teaches us that justice makes a nation great. Help us to celebrate this wonderful day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless your hearts. I hope that you've had a great week. And uh, we're excited about tomorrow, which is Sunday. I'm going to share a special word on justice and, and black suffering. I'm in a series on when sorrow comes. And tomorrow I'm going to talk about black suffering as it relates to America and the 4th of July. So uh, be with us tomorrow. Pre-show starts at 9 o'clock. And then the actual service starts at 9.30. Uh, don't forget SSCLive.tv and Facebook and YouTube. Join us. And don't forget, as I always say every day, stay safe, stay sane, and if you can, stay home. God bless you.